coming out the other side of the bridge, you see a lot more stuff to do. Whoa! This is really big over here. I think this might be the bigger side of the event. Huge! From Bridgeton, we went on over to Mansfield, Indiana, which is not very far, six or seven miles from Bridgeton, I'd guess, so it didn't take long. And we're gonna see what their setup is here. We've just been told it's a little more commercial, maybe, but I'm not sure what that means. So we're gonna check it out, too. And there's a, a covered bridge here, too, right, Donna? I think so, it showed one on the map. Okay, we're gonna try to find their covered bridge. And there's a mill, I think, and they said it's not too far from where the parking was. Um, first parking we passed said $4. This wasn't too far, and it's right on the edge of everything, and it was $5, so we're here at this one. So we're going to go see what's going on. Right at the edge of the parking lot where you get ready to go into the event, there's rental for strollers, wagons, wheelchairs, and electric scooters. So that's pretty cool. That could really help you out since there's a lot of walking. A litter of pigs, herd of pigs. And they told us from the parking lot to just walk straight down this main drag till we get to an intersection and turn right and the bridge won't be too far from there. This reminds me of like the flea market in uh, Fort Myers. It's huge. Yeah, that we went to. A lot of booths inside this big building. That's foreign books. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. There's the tractor book. That's cool. We've got some of these books. Us foreign's really good. Our uh, daughter-in-law sells these. Great books for kids. Chocolate-covered bacon on a stick. All right. Glad somebody's doing that. But at Mansfield, looks like they have the main street blocked off. So no cars really come down. So that's easy. Whoa, that's a big building right there. House barbecue, yeah. And a food court. Town of beef. Bacon Swiss burger. Again, this is a great place to eat at the Covered Bridge Festival. The sign says bridge. There it is. This is the Mansfield Bridge. And this says cross this bridge at a walk. Mansfield Bridge was built in 1867. Looks pretty long, just like the one at Bridgeton. Like this bridge is a lot more crowded than the one at Bridgeton. I think when you cross over, there's more to do on uh, the other side of the bridge, whereas at Bridgeton, it was all on one side of the bridge. So this is probably more of a walkway between the two parts here in Mansfield. And coming out the other side of the bridge, you see a lot more stuff to do. Whoa! This is really big over here. I think this might be the bigger side of the event. Huge. <laughs> it's as big as your eyes can see both directions. It is. This keeps going and going. Ron's Taco Shop. Hobo Potatoes. Kettle corn is everywhere. That's some big underwear. <laughs> that looks like a big thong. They have some bounce houses for the kids to play in. And, uh, Pretty fall setup with uh, flowers, mums, and pumpkins. Turnips. Gotta get some for my father-in-law. We couldn't have picked a better day to come, I don't think. This is a Wednesday, so it's not as busy as it would be on the weekends. But still, there's tons of people. Furniture place set up. And then a bunch more food. Lots and lots of purses. Name on a rock for my bags. There's a lot of rocks. It's cool. It's big. And gadgets and games as seen on TV. You might have to check that out. I bet they don't have that one. Green, 
pre-named rocks. Lots of glasses, lots of phone cases and chargers. We're gonna get hot chicken noodles, fried Oreos and Twinkie. You can get a good view of the dam and the bridge from up here on this deck. And right down there are some bounce houses for kids. Pony rides, ice cream, and a place to sit out and eat. Loaded swamp spuds, bluegill bites, coconut shrimp, jambalaya, gator bites, crab cakes. Blooming onions, raging Cajun. Scarecrows are marked down already, five bucks. We're here on a Wednesday, I think one of the vendors said what? This when was, it was a quiet what? day. Quiet day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And, and it picks up more on the weekends, Mondays. They're good. So the CD's available. It's got a great sound. Here's the Mansfield Roller Bill, state historic site. an early form of an elevator, a man lift. Goes way up there, six floors. It's a view from the top of the mill. Flower dresser. And there's the dam and the spillway. And there's the old mill wheel, water wheel. Continues on way up the hill too. So it's all spread out here at um, Mansfield. I notice a lot of them have samples of their food made out for you to see just what it looks like. This guy's really good. One thing we noticed was that in Bridgeton and Mansfield both we hardly got any cell service it was like no service or just one 3g bar or whatever but it wasn't very good hi hi we had a good day at Mansfield and Bridgeton yeah uh, we, glad we came yeah we walked a lot yeah my feet hurt we hurt we ate a lot we did Stomach hurts. Yeah. And we my saw head hurts. Head hurts. <laughs> but we had a good time. Yes. Um, it was it seemed more like a flea market than what I would think it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be more like crafts, like homemade crafts. Except maybe we just maybe we didn't make it to that part of this place because there were so many vendors. There's a lot of vendors. Because we didn't go up on the hill. Especially at Mansfield. Mansfield was way bigger than what I expected. But there's a lot of similar stuff, a lot of people selling shirts and sunglasses and toys and uh, pillows. We got our grandson, our raccoon cap. Coonskin cap, yeah. Cap. So that was our big find of the day. But we had a good time and we had great weather for it. Yes. And uh, covered bridges were cool, the mills. So. And a lot of maple syrup. If you like maple syrup on your pancakes, you could score big over here. A lot of maple syrup, a lot of kettle corn, corn dogs, lemon shake-ups, kind of a carnival fair atmosphere. But we're glad we came and it was a good day. Yes. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We had never been to the Covered Bridge Festival in Park County, Indiana, so we decided it was about time. We headed over there on a Wednesday on October 14th of 2015, and it turned out to be a perfect day. The weather was great and the crowds weren't real heavy. We went to Bridgeton, Indiana first and then headed over to Mansfield. The events at Bridgeton and Mansfield are very similar in that they all have the crafts and the vendor booths and lots of food, a lot of the carnival fair type food. We felt like the Mansfield event was just bigger. We were surprised at how many vendors there were. 
I would just say if you go either place, you won't be disappointed. If you do get a chance, I would say go to the Covered Bridge Festival sometime. It's definitely worth your while, and it's just a really cool event. Thanks for watching this video, and please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you would. Thanks. Bye.